Podges. We don't need no stinking Podges. Oh, no. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Bike River Outfitters. This uh, slide was sent to me by one of the subscribers and to troubleshoot for him, I guess he's having issues with the conversion. Uh, and no Mr. ATF man, no frame was sent with it, so this is not a firearm. It is just a slide. So, let's get into this here. We've already taken the, the end cap off. Um, and the firing pin assembly out. You can see where he, he ground it down. Um, I'm gonna zoom in, try to zoom in here with my ding phone. I'm not good at this, guys, and I don't have a tripod, so. A um, couple things, you wanna be really careful. And I know I'm not, promised not to tap with the screwdriver. You can see right here, this is where the built up ridge, and it usually runs all the way about to right here on the Smith & Wesson before it's ground. Um, you definitely don't want to get your grinding tool or milling machine into this rail which is what has happened here. Um, again, that can be fixed. It's not a major thing, but you definitely don't want to do that. Be careful when you're grinding. Don't don't hit these rails right here. Or the... It's not really rails, but it's the area where the rails run on the on the slide. Also, um, you can kind of see it right there. See how there's still a lip? A little bit of material that's left right in there. And it's like a little ridge. Flip this around, maybe we can see it better here. Yeah, you can definitely see where the grinding tool got into the slide. Right there up on the, the where the rail rides you definitely don't want that again but you can really see this ridge this needs to be flat it's it's doesn't need to have a burr right there basically I guess that's what machinists call a burr but that needs to come off of there um, that will cause your slide to to hang up and uh, not function as smoothly so, and I think he also took too much material off of that. If you look at this view of it, you should have a little rounded area, like a slightly rounded area right in here. A uh, half round area, not completely flush. Again, I'm going to put it on the test uh, frame that I own, and we'll see what happens. Uh, if not, then I have a couple options to fix that. I'm going to either straight add straight JB weld uh, in here to build this area back up and this is just uh, where it engages the trigger reset so it's not going to make the thing blow up or anything or what I've done on some of mine is I add some steel and I have stainless steel that I could put in here and again I just JB weld it into this area and then I grind the steel down again uh, again, either way is good. Uh, I just tried it two different ways to see if it would wear any differently, and thus far it has not. Um, now maybe after thousands of rounds, it may wear differently. Um, that's kind of why I went with the stainless steel insert on one of mine that I messed up on. So I'll keep you guys posted. Um, I'm just going to make this part of a one big video. Um, once I get this repaired, I'll do a video showing the repair. Uh, then we'll do a function check and then take it out and test fire it on, again, the test frame that I have, not the one that the, the subscriber sent in. So uh, we'll get this up and running, and uh, hopefully anyway. All right, everybody. I'll see you here in a bit. Hey, everybody. It's Black River Outfitters again. And here is that slide um, for the second time that uh, subscriber sent in, Mr. O. And we've modified the, uh, the Smith & Wesson firing pin to mimic a Glock on the lockup where it uh, interacts with the Crucible. And I'm going to try to zoom in. 
he did take too much off the slide um, so what we did is we polished this up a little bit in here took off the burr um, ever so slightly you can't even tell um, they're very very faint uh, addition of JB Weld like I said it's it's not a lot um, and it's real easy to take too much off but again that just interacts with the uh, the trigger reset so we're gonna put this bad boy zoom back out here we're gonna put this on a test uh, frame that I use for all my tests and again this is my frame this is not a subscriber sent frame or anything like that we don't do anything illegal here um, I said this this has been in many of my videos and I've even said it in the past that this frame is 100% reliable um, and it's been my test frame for every build that I've ever done be it a Smith and Glocks and uh, or a, a Glock for that matter um, so yeah we're gonna we're gonna put these together um, the function check out it checks out good um, and we're gonna run some rounds downrange uh, with it it'll be just fine um, and then we'll get it sent back to mr. O and he can put it on his frame and he'll be a happy camper again it's a uh, I think it's a Smith & Wesson there we go SW9VE is what he sent in so and again that was just the, the barreled slide so again mr. ATF federal man if you're watching um, yeah nothing illegal going on this is mine <laughs> and this is what he sent so we'll get some video of uh, popping some rounds down range here and uh, again nothing fancy it's not gonna be for accuracy because I just want to test it for function and rely you know not reliability but function to make sure that this is gonna reset the trigger every time which it has been dry firing it and uh, make sure it ejects and everything like that uh, so mr. O will have be a happy camper see y'all here in a bit this is the uh, Smith & Glockson. Uh, this is the one, the slide that we're testing that was sent in by Mr. O, subscriber. That's what we'll call him. It's a SW9VE Smith & Wesson 9mm slide. And again, because I know somebody's going to say something, <clears throat> ATF or anybody else, this frame is mine. It's not getting shipped back to him, nor did he send it to me. He just sent the slide. It's like the 20th time I've said it. We're just gonna check. He said it was having a problem um, with the trigger reset. And he took too much off the slide. It happens. Put a little bit of JB Weld, and it should be good to go. Oh, and I modified the uh, Smith & Wesson firing pin to mimic a Glock, where it locks up on the Crucible. So, let's check it out here. Probably limp wristed the first one. Did just fine. Let me run one more. I don't like that first round, but I'm running the cheap Blazer ammunition. No, no offense against Blazer. You want to send me some more? We can test it out. But it, it I don't know what it is. It just. I'm trying to get rid of it here. We'll see. Well, Mr. O, your slide works just fine. When you have to shoot, shoot, don't talk. <laughs> <laughs>